Hi, my name is Raman and this is the Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to make an attractive banner and logo for your channel. We'll talk about the specific tips and tricks and also take a look at the inspiring examples of other creators' channel arts. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And don't forget to give a like to this episode, it's a simple way to say thank Thank you for this video. First of all, let's find out what banners are and why we need them at all. A banner is an important part of your personal or business brand on YouTube. In fact, this is the first thing that the viewers and your potential subscribers see when they look at the main page of your channel. That's why it's important for the channel art to be memorable and attractive. It should also correctly represent your style and the content you produce. Actually, the YouTube banner reminds me of some kind of a book cover. Of course, what's under the cover is the way more important, some useful facts or a fascinating story, but an appropriate pictures, mistakes in the title, a lousy photo of the author or a boring review on the cover, all this could make a reader change the mind and buy a different book. You probably know the expression don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, this is exactly what your viewers and potential subscribers do when they look at your YouTube channel art. They judge your channel not only by the content you produce, but also by many other little details – the banner, the logo, and the thumbnails of your videos. So you should not ignore all these elements. A banner has a few very important and useful features. It's not just an attractive picture. As you may see, different vloggers use their banners for different purposes. A YouTube banner may have a channel name or a slogan on it. A vlogger can post a photo collage of different snapshots from his or her videos. Some YouTube vloggers make banners with their portraits to emphasize their individuality. A popular vlogger or celebrity probably would like to show everyone what a large-scale audience they have. And some vloggers prefer to add the video release schedule to the banner. And you know what? This is a great idea! I strongly recommend you to put the release schedule of your videos on your banner. It will show your potential subscribers that your channel is alive and active. Also, a banner is often used for making announcements. It helps inform viewers about new season of a show, announce a new project or giveaway, promote a new video or a new album release. Today, one of the most popular trends is minimalistic banners. It is often used by vloggers or celebrities who don't need to be introduced. It can be just a cool drawn picture without any text. Or a simple slogan. Or a stylish photograph. It seems simple at the first sight, but it looks pretty aesthetic and cool to me. If you ask me, I think almost anyone can make their own YouTube channel art, and I'm going to show it right now. First of all, you need to choose the tools you're going to use. You can use almost any photo editors you like best, both free and paid, like Photoshop, Pixelmator or something else. For my example, I'm using Movavi Photo Editor. As I said before, I personally prefer strong, clear and minimalistic banners with some basic information or even just a logo or a slogan of the channel. This is exactly the kind of banner we'll try to create now. I'm going to make a collage from three photos of mine. Here they are. I want to have the same background for all three, so first of all, I need to remove the original background from these photos. On our channel, there's a great tutorial on how to do it. I will leave a link down below. But to be honest, it's so easy to do that I can show it in a few seconds right now. In Movavi Photo Editor, there are two tools for that – an automatic background removal and a lasso. I will show you both options. Choose a photo and import it to the photo editor. There is a change background tool on the toolbar above. Use the green brush to mark the object you want to keep on the image. And use the red brush to mark the objects and backgrounds you want to remove. Now let's fix some small details. Just a bit. And here we go. Save it in the PNG format. Ok, moving to the next photo. Now I'm going to show you how you can remove the background with the lasso tool. Let's select the object along the contour. Now we need to correct it a little bit. And that's it. 
This method takes a little more time, but it really helps if there are a lot of small details in the photo. Now we're going to do the same thing with the third photo and export all of them to a folder. By the way, before you start creating your banner, you should take into account how it will look on different devices. The same banner will look different in different browsers, on a TV or mobile screens. That's why you should place the main info in the very center of the banner. In that case, it will be shown properly on any devices. I've already prepared a template. It's a 1546 to 423 rectangle. This is the size of a banner that will be visible on all devices. I will make a banner of this size and then put it on a bigger template. If you don't think about the safe zone of your banner, the important parts like your head or the channel's name may be cut off on small screens. It's a clear sign of being a beginner YouTuber who doesn't pay attention to details. Such a trimmed banner can ruin the impression and a trimmed slogan of your channel's name in general can create a comical effect. By the way, don't forget that there are links to social media in the lower right corner of the banner. So I recommend not to overlap this part of the banner with text or a lot of small details. It's not a good idea to put information there. No one will be able to read it because of the icons. Okay, moving on. Now I drop the template to the Mobavi photo editor. Then I'm going to add all three photos one by one. I think it turns out quite well. Now I just need to add some text. Let it be a slogan of our channel, your go-to channel for making great videos. Here you can choose the appropriate size and font. By the way, it's better to use thick, clear and readable fonts so your viewers will be able to read it even on small screens. Doesn't matter what it is, your own name, your channel's name or a slogan. It should be visible and attractive in any case. Most people watch YouTube videos on their laptops or phones, so you may not bother much about what your banner looks like on TV. Anyway, when uploading a YouTube banner, you should remember the recommended image size and the file size limit. For this reason, I drop a template to Movavi Photo Editor. Now I add the banner I have made here using the paste an image function. It should be in the very center. Now I want to check if I did everything correctly. I'm going to use a YouTube banner template I found on Google. I add it to my banner using the same paste and image function, stretch it to the desired scale and tweak the transparency. It looks like everything is ok. Now I can delete it and save the final version of the banner. Finally, I want to mention the importance of the channel logo because channel art won't be complete without it. Your channel logo appears every time you respond to comments, no matter if it's your own or someone else's channel. So make it unique and memorable. The best YouTube profile picture size is 800 to 800 pixels, but note that these are square dimensions and YouTube profile pictures are given a circular crop. The icon must be visible when compressed to a size of 98 to 98 pixels. It should be laconic and readable. And the easiest way to make it so is to take the first letters of your name or the name of your channel. I'll have NV for Movavi Vlog. I want to use the same white background, so I prepared a template of 800 to 800 pixels in advance. But you can choose something bright and multicolored for the logo background if you want. Then you can type your initials using the text tool. Make sure that you choose a trendy font. I decided to duplicate the initials to create a shadow effect. And here we go. Well, that's all for today. Maybe until now you haven't paid attention to the banner on your channel. But I hope after today's video you'll get inspired to create your own unique channel art that will attract more subscribers. Give this video a thumb up if it was useful for you. My name is Roman, this is Movavi Vlog. I'll see you soon. Bye.